Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I am continue working on the view rear mirror. Uh, I would like to achieve this part and go ahead to continue working on other side. Okay. Here I'm using a 2D sketch just to use trim feature after that. And when I cut it, I will use loft feature um, to, to link the to link the two patch surfaces like doing a, a bridge okay here you can click on trim and select this line a tool not that just select this one and select the surface you would like to cut maybe it's not good because here it's not good what I have to do is to edit the sketch just edit your sketch and this point you have just to move it just a little bit and see it's okay when you see from the right I think it's good like that just change it here just to make it good here Okay. I think it's working like that. Now I will uh, teach you a new method. Just I will try to make the like a rail okay here but I will try to make it in 3d direction as you can see and I will bend it just a little bit Another, but you have to turn it on 3D to take the best curve. And add another one here. Leave it like that. And let's now edit our 3D curves or 3D spline let's see from the top and see what what I have here a little bit the same thing in this one not that I want just to activate the handles ok 
Okay. I think it's okay like that. <coughs> uh, what do you have to do here? Let's try to jump the or let's add the spline through all these three points but I can do that I have just to hide the not this one that's okay I will hide all this and add the spline through these okay as you can see you can model all this one with using 3d sketch in only one sketch that's good okay and use these three spline like rail okay it's good like that Now you can just show all the surface surfaces you hide before. Okay. I will use a stitch to make only one surface here or one body or one body, okay? That it helps me to cut the other left okay i will select this one as you can see i cut it okay use the same feature select this one and cut this surface as you can see it's okay like that you can use stitch again to make only one part or one component Okay. Don't forget to save your file. And here I want to to make the mirror of all these components to see what's the result. Just give it a try when you're working like that. It's good to make uh, the mirror to see all the car, what you have. Okay, we have a good car here. I will just add some, some details, okay? I will delete this one and let's add a detail in the rear of the car. Go to sketch and try to draw this this one.
now once you finish drawing uh, go to um, split the split feature has let you let you um, cut the body and leaving the surface you will cut it's different to the trim feature trim feature when you cut the body you will delete the surface you cut as you can see here you will leave this one like that okay and let's jump to the to the other part let's draw the spoiler here as you can see it's a little bit complicated part but I think we are in the 18 episode you can do it Once you finish the first spline, add another here and another one from this point. Okay. It's okay like that. And let's add another between these points. But what I have to do is just to turn it like that and try to find this point from here just click ok when you finish ok as you can see what I have to do is just to select this one and move it use M key to move it Here I want to make this one horizontal but as you can see I modified the other spline what you have to do is undo and fix this one just select it and make it fix and now let's make this one horizontal the same thing in the second here it's okay Here I will try to move this point It's too difficult to pick the point from the top What I want to do is to pick it uh, from the 3D view or in perspective As you can see I can move it like that And see if it's ok from the right Okay. A 
fix it again. I remember that you can move the point when the spline is fixed. You have to unfix the, the point or the, the curve and move the point. Here I will move uh, this point, I want to be in the interior of the car, but we can move it or modify it after when you make the loft feature. Now it's 17 minutes on the tutorial, I will tell you, see you in the next episode, we will continue working on on the spoiler uh, subscribe and find me on Facebook and Instagram and cheers